In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a floating product video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So before we jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, it's really important that we have the correct footage. So first of all, you just want to begin by finding the objects that you're going to add into your floating product video. So in my example, I'm going to use this camcorder and then you want to go ahead and find something like fishing wire, string or a cable to attach to that product. You can tape this, you can glue this, whatever you want to do. But in my example, I didn't actually have access to any fishing wire. So what I did is I used a broken lavalier microphone. I used the cable from that, taped that to this camcorder and then I suspended it on a pole just out of frame and had that dangling into the shot. So with my camcorder attached to this cable, dangling on this pole out of screen, I then put my camera on a tripod, locked off all the lighting, locked off all the settings in the camera, made sure everything was nice and consistent. And then I took a video of that product. Now I filmed in slow-mo to make this look more cinematic. You don't have to film in slow-mo, but I did use slow-mo in this example. So I kept the camera rolling for a few seconds. I spun this around a few times, got a few different variations. And then once I was finished with that, I just pulled that out of the frame and I just recorded 10 seconds of a clean plate. Now your clean plate is basically just an empty frame. So it's the background, the subject, the product that has been taken out of the frame. We can't see the cable. We can't see the product. It's just the background. And it's really important that the lighting and everything is consistent between the first shot and the second shot. The reason why is we're going to use this clean plate to cut out the cable, the fishing wire or the string that you use to dangle that product in front of the camera. So it's really important that you get this. So put your camera on a tripod, get the two shots, make sure everything's consistent and then drop these into Premiere. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you can see this is my video footage of the camcorder. This is my floating product video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take these few seconds of video here. So I'll press C on the keyboard to load the eraser tool, make a cut there. And then I'm finished with that there. So I'll make a cut there and we'll delete the first and the last part of that video. So as you can see, I've got this roughly five second long video of this camcorder dangling in the frame. Now, as you can see over on the right, this is my clean plate here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that first video, so the video of the camcorder up onto video layer two, and then I'll drag my clean plate onto video layer one, and I'll cut the length of that down so that these match. So if I turn off video layer two, you can see clean plate and footage. As you can see, nothing is changing between these two video clips. It's just the subject is disappearing and reappearing as I turn the layer off. This enables us to cut out this microphone and not have any parts of the background missing from our footage. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. So I'm just going to select this product video. We'll go into opacity, select the free draw bezier tool, you want to select fit, zoom all the way into somewhere around 200. Feel free to go into 400 if you wanted to as well to make this nice and precise. Then I'm just going to create a mask around this product, making sure that I cut the cable out like so. Now feel free to zoom back out and then just complete that mask. So I'll zoom out even further and just do that mask all the way around the cable like so. And as you can see, that's got rid of the camcorder. Of course, though, we don't want to get rid of the camcorder. We want to get rid of the cable. So we'll go into mask one and we'll go down to inverted and select inverted. And if we deselect the mask, so we'll select onto the sequence. You can see that has got rid of that cable and that looks great. The problem is, though, the camcorder is swinging, which means that mask is going to start to cut into the product video and expose the cable later on. So that means we need to go ahead and animate the mask to follow the movement of the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'll select that video. We're going to mask one and create a brand new keyframe on mask path by selecting toggle animation. Then we're just going to zoom back into 400% up to the point here, somewhere around here. Feel free to turn the mask feather down, by the way, if you're getting a soft edge. So as you can see, this is where it was at before it was set to 10 and it was starting to look a bit soft here. But if you pull that to zero, it creates a nice hard edge. Then we're just going to move a second over. And as you can see, we've got that mask cutting into this camcorder here, which is a little bit annoying. And the problem is we can't exactly see where we should move the mask to. So I'm going to make a copy of this video layer. So I'm going to hold option on the keyboard and I'll drag the video on video layer two up to video layer three. Or alternatively, you can copy and paste that using command or control C and V. Then we'll go to video layer two and we'll delete that mask. And now you can see we've got that cable back. So from here, I'm just going to move across and then I'll just move this mask across like this. 
and then I'm just going to slowly work through my video, making sure that this mask is following the movement of the camcorder, getting rid of this cable. Now, if it spins for any reason and this doesn't fit, then just go ahead and move these points so that this mask is perfectly sitting on the edge of your product. Now, once you've completed that, it's always worth going back to the beginning and slowly scrubbing this to see if it drifts in between your keyframes. So in this example, that drifted there. So just keep working through and if it moves where it shouldn't do, if it starts to expose part of the cable, move that across, or if it starts to eat into your product, then feel free to move the mask across. But once you're happy with the look of that, you can just go ahead, zoom back out to fit, or delete that video on video layer two, our reference video. Pull this back down to two, and when we play this back, you can see we've got this really awesome floating product video. And of course, if we highlight both of those videos, we right click, and we nest these into their own sequence, we can now go ahead and treat this as its own video layer, which means we can animate the scale to animate over time like so. And then we end up with this really awesome dynamic floating product video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And it was actually really quick and really easy to do. Now, of course, this technique isn't just exclusive to product videos. You can take this technique and use this in so many different applications. So feel free to get creative and use this technique to create something really interesting and awesome. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.